The sum of three numbers is 16. The sum of twice the first number, three times the second number, and four times the third number is 46. The difference between five times the first number and the second number is 31. Find the three numbers. The first thing you want to do is state which number is which. X is equal to the first number. Y is equal to the second number. Z is equal to the third number. Okay, very important. Okay, that's the first thing you want to do. The second thing we want to do is set up the systems of equations. It says the sum of three numbers. These are three numbers. The sum of three numbers looks like this. Is 16. The word is is equal and it's 16. The sum of twice the first number. So twice the first number. And it says the sum which is plus. So the sum of twice the first number, three times the second number, three times the second number, and we're still talking about sum, four times the third number. Four times the third number is 46. Okay, that's the second line. The third line says the difference between five times the first number, this would be five times the first number, the difference is subtraction. So it says five times the first number and the second number. The second number is just y is 31. Okay, so we have our little systems of equations right here. That's the hardest part of the problem, in my opinion, just setting it up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to play with that line at the bottom. I have 5x minus y is equal to 31. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a y to both sides. I'm going to subtract 31 from both sides. Okay. Well, the y's would go. This 31 minus 31 would go. 5x minus 31 is just 5x minus 31. And it's equal to y. Okay, so I'm going to leave this off to the side. Okay, so I solved y in terms of x. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take two lines and I'm actually going to try to isolate the other variable, which in this case is going to be Z. OK, so the two lines that I want to play with is the first and the third. OK, so the first line says X plus Y plus Z is equal to 16. The third line says 5X minus Y is equal to 31. Okay, what happens right here? Well, x plus 5x, that's going to give me a 6x. Negative, I'm sorry, y minus y, that's going to cancel, they're gone. And I have a positive z, and that's equal to 16 plus 31, which would give me 47. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just subtract the 6x from both sides so I can get the z by itself. I'll get z, right, because these cancel. Z is equal to... 47 minus 6x. Okay, so I'm going to just leave that off to the side. So again, I have y in terms of x, z in terms of x. Well, I can put this in the second equation since I, I, want, I, I haven't used that yet. I've used the first and the third, and I can solve for x, okay? And this is what I mean. The second equation says 2x plus 3 times y. But remember, y is this thing. So I'll put 5x minus, what is that, 31? So the 3 is right there, the y is right there, plus 4 times z. Z is 47 minus 6x. And it all equals 46. Okay. Now, the reason why I did that is because I have x, x, and x. I could just clean this up, solve for x, bottom line. Okay, so what I'm going to do because this is getting a little messy, is I'm going to take this 3 and I'm going to distribute it to both of these. And I'm going to take this 4 and distribute it to this. Okay, so what does that do? Well, on the outside, the 2x stays the same. 3 times 5x, that'll give me 15x. 3 times negative 31 is negative 93. 4 times 47 looks like that's 188. 4 times negative 6x is negative 24x. 
and that's equal to 46. Cool. Now it still looks like a big mess, but we actually have, we're making progress. Why do I say that? Well, I have these right here that I can combine. And what else do I got? I got this right here that I can combine. Okay, those are the X's. Then if we're talking about just the constants, well, I have these right here that I can actually combine as well. Okay, so what can we do with that? Well, I have 2x plus 15x, that's 17x, minus 24x, that'll give me a negative 7x. And that's equal to, um, well, sorry, that's not equal to. Those two give me, neg I'm sorry, those three give me negative 7x. Then I have to combine these, negative 93 plus 188, that'll give me a 95. Okay, it's still equal to 46. Okay, now I have to subtract 95 from both sides. Okay, that gives me negative 7x is equal to negative 49. Okay, now all I got to do is isolate x right here. If I divide both sides by negative 7, I get that x is equal to seven and that's actually our first part of the solution so we found one of the numbers great okay we have that x is equal to seven so i'll put that somewhere over here x is equal to seven okay now since we already have a lot going on i could just put this thing in here right make it very simple since we already got a lot going on well that means that let's see what can we do this at y if we put y out here is equal to Five in the place of x, I'm going to put the 7 minus 31. Well, that means that y is equal to 5 times 7 is 35. 35 minus 31 is 4. I got my second solution. y is equal to 4. Cool. The beauty of these right here is that we already suffered, so we don't have to really suffer no more. I have x, I have y. Let's use the top line. Okay? x is 7. 7 plus 4 plus some number is equal to 16. Well, seven plus four is 11. I would need a five right there for it to be 16. So that means that Z is equal to five. All right, now all we gotta do is just put it in a point. I'm pretty sure the teachers want it like that. The point would state that the solution is seven, four, five, and this right here is the final answer.